out. So we've got five iron tablets dissolved in 100 milliliters of one mole per decimeter cubed sulfuric acid. Now I'm going to pipette 25 mils into each of these three Erlenmeyer flasks. What's the plural of flask? Flasky? I don't know. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. We don't do pipetting by mouth anymore. <laughs> this uh, pipette filler here. No, 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 no. This is also bad. You could force it in, snap it, and then you've got a broken piece of glass straight across the wrist. Arterial spray up on the ceiling. It's, it's grim. So hold it close to the ends and jam it in like that. Okay, here we go. Oh no. So my glasses on my glasses stopped me seeing clearly and I sucked a little bit of the solution up into the pipette filler, which is never good. It didn't go too far though. So that means there's a tiny drop of whatever residue in the pipette filler now into my quantitative chemistry. Okay, I'm filling up to the line. Lovely. So that's at the line. Let it go. And at the end, it's tempted to blow out that last drop, but you shouldn't. You should just touch it to the surface. It's designed to retain that last uh, piece of solution there. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so in the burette, I'm going to put this solution of potassium permanganate. You've got to be kidding me. That's a huge bottle. I'm not going to pour it in like that. And don't forget to close it at the bottom. A few years ago, a kid didn't, and we're filling it up with ethanol, and she saturated herself with ethanol. Oh my God, what a way to lose my job. If she'd have set herself on fire, she didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it into a clean beaker. And then I'm gonna transfer it into the burette. Take the funnel out, because it's dripping, and this equipment's supposed to be accurate to one or two drops, so if the funnel's dripping, that's going to cause trouble. Are you ready to start? You are not ready to start because there's an air gap here. You've got to clear that air gap first. Fantastic. Now, set this on zero. No, no, no. No professional sets it on zero. You just write down the number that it's at. Can you see? So that looks like 0 0.30. You can pause. Okay, the first titration is the rough one, so I'm just gonna let it run. And it's self-indicating. When the purple color remains, the experiment's over. Okay, that's over, and that gives me a volume of 15.45 milliliters. So, 15.45 milliliters, and that gives me the total volume used is going to be 
15.15. Mm, no one's not quite sure what to do here. The uh, uncertainty rules say one decimal place and these adding and subtraction rules say two. So you know what, uh, I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll think about it. Okay, second titration. Well, I think uh, I wanna stop at about, after I've added 10 this time, uh, and then do it much slower. So let's add 10. So that's 10 added, and now I'm gonna add drop-wise. I should be able to catch it on just one drop. Oh, now notice there's some side splash there, but that's okay. We can just wash that in with a bit of water. That doesn't affect the experiment. Just wash that in there. Oh, I've noticed that there's a photosynthetic life at the bottom there. Okay, let's keep going. That's it. It's done. Alrighty. One more. So the volume for that is a uh, 28.5. 28.55 and that was all right and so 28.55 is where we're going to start we've still got enough 28.55 so I'm going to add 10 That's it. So there's the final data. Here's the, the muck left over from the iron tablet titration. Now I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there's no iron present in here. So let's do a quick test. If I take some of that potassium permanganate, if there's iron, the color will disappear. That's bad. That's missing iron that I thought I'd collected but uh, it stays purple. So it looks like indeed all of the iron did pass through in the filtrate. Mm -hmm.